Hello, my name is Tom Cook. Today I'm going to show you how to use something called a super sternal notch view. So when would you use this? Well, let's say you got a patient who comes in, maybe they're older and they've got a little bit of hypertension and they complain of this real terrible pain and uh, they say, well, God, it just feels like it's ripping right through my body. And of course, a lot of us, we'd go for a parasternal long axis view, which I'm demonstrating here. And we notice when we look at the aortic root that perhaps it's dilated or it appears a little bit funny. And we really start to think about uh, the idea that maybe this person has a dissection. So what we can do is take our transducer and place it in the suprasternal notch. And we can take it and angle the transducer towards the patient's left shoulder. What we're trying to do is pick up a long axis view of this patient's aortic arch. Now you can see in this particular situation the, almost the entire arch. In fact, you can see not only the arch itself, but you can see the takeoff of the left carotid and the left subclavian. And if I angle it a little bit more this way, we can also pick up the takeoff of the anominate artery going to the right side of the body. Uh, so this is a fantastic view to get. It's not consistently available in all patients, but when you are able to obtain it in those patients, you're very suspicious of having dissection, and you see evidence of aortic pathology in the arch. It really helps you manage that patient quickly and efficiently. Obviously, we need to get the blood pressure down. We need to get cardiothoracic surgery involved very, very quickly, and this can really be literally a lifesaver if you know how to use it.